A Dallas County judge and top administrator is weighing in on the crisis at the border. He says he'd like to bring children who are separated from their parents here to Dallas. Diana Rocco is live in Dallas, and Diana, no word yet if or when this could happen. Well, that's right, Russ. The top county executive is still waiting to hear from the feds, but he says Dallas has in the past and will still open its door to undocumented children who have been separated from their families at the border. Should the county get the go-ahead, it would take about two weeks to get their facilities ready. Judge Clay Jenkins says children would be better cared for in Dallas than a Walmart detention center near Brownsville. At a town hall meeting last night in Denton County with Congressman Burgess, the separation of families at the border drew a lot of anger from many of the constituents there. The congressman says this will be moved on by Congress this week, while Dallas ISD says they have been made aware of the possibility of housing the children and we'll have more information on that later this week. Here is what the judge had to say over the phone. In no way would we be saying um, we support family separation or we want to see it uh, last longer. We would simply say as long as it is going on, we want these children to experience as much love, compassion, and support as is possible. And so Dallas made the same offer to 2,000 undocumented children who crossed the border back in 2014. We're live in Dallas. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 11 News.